message or messages for the next 48 hours. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they can't wait. The planetary energies are as you kick your way into the next 48 hours. Mercury and Venus both are in Scorpio, aligned with Pisces. Moon. Mm. The Pisces moon trines these planets, bringing an element of what opportunity and luck. Once you go within, darling dears, all answers come from within. There's an emphasis on ex on self-expression as well as what legal matters. So be careful. Mm -hmm. Skullduggery is afoot. There is clarity in certain circumstances, but someone or something is trying to play with your memory. Allow your intuition to guide your decision making. Your, your intuition is your guide encounter, darling dear. Once you get quiet, it's loud and proud, darling dear. Loud and proud. Your runestone for the next 48 hours. legal matters is not going to go well for someone let it not be you my dear big cat tai was represented by the justice card libra energy in tarot mm -hmm. in the reverse darling dears someone is creating some injustices in your life yes baby it speaks about the dishonesty and the karma they will be collecting for said injustices not every injustice Will you see their comeuppance, darling dear? It's not for you. It's below your spiritual pay grade. Make sure you, what? Walk with the divine and call in your ancestors at any point. They can't help you unless you ask. Tai was, is represented, <coughs> please excuse them my civil play, by the numbers 44, 45, 46, and 47, and the letter T. It speaks about if somebody is what? Full on stupid, S-T-O-O-P-E-D. They are what? Dull-eyed. And they're simpleton. And they're trying to pull one over on you, darling dear. Make sure that you have all of your intel correct over the next 48 hours. Feel everything in the heart and rise. That is faith, darling dear. Fist bump. Your ancestral message, we're going to use the love, I believe it's the love wisdom oracle. Give it a good shove, dear. message from the ancestors for my big cat water signs for the next 48 hours mm, okay maturity darling dear you have to use your emotional intelligence. Some of you need to write down certain things, darling dear, and look at who is the scupper, who is the what? The scum between your toes. It speaks about getting guidance as well as what? Some of you are going into what? Higher education. Maybe you're a keyboard gangster or you're going into an establishment, an organization that will teach you higher knowledge. Some of you are getting into the spiritual work, darling dear. Mm -hmm. This is about leaning on understanding outside of yourself. Your crown chakra is being what? Covered. Your crown chakra is where you get your divine downloads as well as your inspirations, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You have seven candles here. The number seven speaks about taking the time to reflect on situations give it a full assessment and remember knowledge is power and power is power i'll have nothing else said this speaks about your emotional maturity in situations darling dears my water signs your intuition should be at, it, at its peak at this moment in time where you you cast your what spiritual eye on your relationships a healing and a cleansing is what being called for you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. 
Love should always come for self first, darling, India. As I always say, love everyone, trust a few, but paddle your own canoe. Mm -hmm. Let's get your deck and see what's going on for you. Base of your deck, we have what in 11 11 fade. This is party celebrations, mutual minds working for what? The same outcome. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands, darling, dears, represented by Aries as well as Venus energy. It speaks about wanting you wanting more stable relationships in your life, but remember, not every listening ear is coming from a friend. Some are merchants of slander. They've been sent by the enemy to what? To scupper your boat, darling, dear. Put you on the rocks of life. You have to what? Save yourself in every situation. No one is coming to save you, darling, dears. How about that? Isolation is key. Some of you are going to realize the dishonesty in situations. It speaks about you what? Removing yourself from situations. The hermit in the upright is represented by Virgo energy. Mm -hmm. Leaning on spiritual understanding, but it's also this is your ancestors wanting you to sh shine your third eye on certain situations and paradigms that are no longer serving you. Isolating yourself, understanding that walking, there's nothing wrong with walking alone, darling, India. Going into the unknown, this is where you will have what true, true spiritual upgrade as well as change, darling, India. Not everyone is supposed to come with you. Yeah, judgment is a major arcana, darling, India. Divine as a hand in your life. It also speaks about past people that would love to return for a second chance. One more round, Julie, with your hairline. Bebe, you better think straight. Nine of souls in the reverse. Bebe, you need to add up. Write down what they done did, darling, and realize that they are on a road to nowhere blood, bruh, or see string. Don't go with them. Mmm. Judgment represented by fire, water, and Pluto energy. You have to be liberator from any situation, darling dear. You have to end certain situations. This is emotional transformation, darling dears. Mm -hmm. As you step into a new stage of your life, the rebirth of you. Law number 25 of the 48 laws of power. Using your intuition. This is about you continuing to plan, plot, and strategize, but as well as act on those plans you can't just sit down mm -mm. act on the plans this is about you using your intuition base of the deck let no weapon formed against you shall prosper this past person they're going to be sending you messages but divine is telling you not to pay any attention right because you already know they're going down bobby brown this is a time for you to what come off the field and go into the barn mm-hmm Let's get my tiny cards. Get right up in there and see what's going on for you. Give them a good shifty. Clarify the hermit. Isolate yourself from what no longer serves you. Thank you. Yeah. Betrayal, darling, dear. Take the knife out of your back and use it to cut the cord. Some of you are going to be indecisive about this. Why are you going to be indecisive? Fate, destiny and good luck is on your side, darling dear. Release situations that are no longer serving you. This is, this is about your mental, your communications. Sometimes you don't have to tell people that they're being sat down. You just keep it popping, keep it fresh. Do the tinky winky. Mm-hmm. The wheel of fortune is on your side. Clarify the judgment. Yeah, somebody was breadcrumbing you in a situation. Lord it over you, darling dears. Gave to others. Mm -hmm. Kept you what? In, in a conundry, darling dears. Kept you mentally trapped. This is why you have to let them go. Your intuition, darling dears, telling you all you need to know, High Priestess. What about this thinking clearly, Nine of Swords? 
yeah realizing that options will be afforded unto you once you what tap into your intuition some of you are natural born leaders the um queen of wands also speaks about somebody who is nurturing darling india nurturing mm -hmm. it also speaks about what your social contacts some of you are going to have cut off many social contacts over the next 48 hours it's going down bobby brown mm -hmm. injustices darling dear the options coming towards you divine is also tasking with what choosing wisely don't go into situations that you have listen if someone broke you in a situation you'll find no healing there in the reverse no 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 no, no. allow it Take that leap of faith, take that chance, take that gamble, be the rebel in your life. Uranus as well as air energy. A new beginning for you. Clarify the Queen of Wands, your intuition. Good golly and gosh. Some of you are going into union. Like-minded soul coming towards you. Offering the love, darling dear. Messages coming forward, darling dear. It also speaks about travel, movement. Mm -hmm. What about these messages? Oh, fell right into my lap. Messages of victory, darling dear. Somebody's also going to be engaging or get be engaged over the next 48 hours because you're the empress. Empress of everything, knowing your worth and adding a tax. This also speaks about you being abundant in all areas of your life in the next 48 hours. Clarify that what? Lost communication, stuck, not take, no take, no chat. Yeah. Because you was wounded, darling dear. This is a call for vigilance. As I said, some of you will be making your circles really, really small over the next 48 hours. You are an earth angel. Yes, you've been on a difficult path, darling dear. But understand, it's about the journey and the lessons you learn going forward. Temperance is about moderation, moderating your time as well as managing your monies over the next 48 hours. Split the deck, yeah. Choosing to be solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pole, darling dears. Split it again. Moving away from what? Lack and loss. Somebody wanted you to be broken financially, mentally and spiritually. Mm -hmm. oh! Betray and betrayer. You had a what? A snake in your camp or snakes in your camp. Drop the challenge, yeah? Drop them. Like, like it was hot. Let's get another deck. Get some more messages out for you for the next 48 hours. More messages for my big cat water signs for the next 48 hours. Here's a good 50. I don't know why I cut the deck like that. It's barely going to get together. Yeah. Use the communication with energies that no longer serve you. It's nice to have all the acquaintances, darling dear. But do you have a true friend amongst them? The answer to that will be within. And if you have to question their motives, darling dear, that is not your friend. Trust in the universe. Divine has your back, darling dear. All answers come from within. The universe is working in your favor. What's this? And whomsoever crossed you. They're on the docket. Spiritual court being kicked in the spiritual nutsack on Keitha as well as Malkuf. And we also saw about a court situation where injustices were perpetrated, darling dear. Trust in the universe, the most high, to turn any situation around. Mm hmm. It's about your wants over your needs, darling dear, because you're the empress of everything, and they shall reap what they sowed. Remember I told you that. As will you, my darling dear. Get a good shufti. Wake up the deck. Ashes, baby. What they wanted for you, darling dear. They're going to what? Eat your dust. Remember I told you that. Because fortune, 
favors the brave. Be brave, darling dear. Lean on your own understanding. It's on the 19. The 19 is the sun card. It's about your inner child as well as self-care. Mm -hmm. Your self-esteem, darling, dear, will be on the up and up once you release those that no longer serve you. Remember, they've got addictions and addictive behavior. And it also speaks about controlling as well as what? Obsessive jealousy. Family issues as well are going to be coming up for you over the next 48 hours. Trust in the universe, darling, dear. Give it to God. Let them war with God. Who wants a, who wants a beef with God? Only a bottom feeder that's feeble-minded. What does Kipper say about this? Kipper's hiding from me. Found you. Kipper? Let's wake up the deck. making the right choices and some people will be going into union over the next 48 hours but remember be a keyboard gangster everyone must be investigated we're doing the boosie badass what's that eyes on everyone darling dear mm -hmm. for you to what continue to make the right choices concerned somebody's worried about what you've got going on darling dear why are they worried about what you've got going on because you're showing up as being stable and we've got the what the sign of judgment 20 leave them where they are they want a second chance in your life but remember this is the rebirth of you you heard the confirmation base of the deck you're the empress my darling dear people in glass houses will always throw stones but remember it's at your back Law number 16 of the 48 laws of power. Keep it popping, keep it fresh, but keep it pushing. Base of the deck. Because Father God, as you trust in the universe, will clear the battlefield for you. Remember what I said. Mm -hmm. Going to the Moonology deck for your final message. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon in eclipse, darling. And we are about to what? Reach a solar eclipse on the 8th of November, darling. Dears. Remember, there will be what major endings to a situation. Whatever has been keeping you at hockey sticks at dawn, trying to do what? Take your mind and your life with it, darling. Dears. Divine is about to what? Clear the battlefield for you. What's this on your privilege, lady? It's time to release negativity and negative people. This is what? A full moon in Scorpio. Mm -hmm. A full moon is the time to what? Harvest your intentions, your wishes. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. You're good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Hermit energy, darling dears. Time to harvest what you truly deserve. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Yeah.